Hey everybody, it's Alicia from Case Crazy Critters and our lovely spider ball python. I think they're calling, I think it's Corky or Corkscrew. Well, I want to talk to you about hazards that may be overlooked. So a lot of times we get some really cool um, decorations. A lot of people reuse, resell decorations because it's a lot cheaper. And um, one thing I know is I get a lot is actually fish decorations. So they're usually heavy, they're ceramic, they're sharp if they break. But let me show you something real quick. So this is a bin of um, items people donated to me, either with their animals um, or just because they know I usually could use extra hides and uh, just kind of enrichment things. So, let me go show you. So, well, first things first, when you get these, always got to clean them. Either you boil with hot water. I like to do a boiling of hot water, a very dilute bleach. Then I'll usually let it sit for 24 hours. I'll do another hot boil, and then I'll use chlorhexidine, and I'll scrub it with that, and then let it sit. That way, I make sure I'm using a couple of ways to kill uh, different bacteria because bacteria like crypto, you actually, it's very, very hard to kill. So you have to use something like chlorhexidine and um, an ammonia, but not together. Um, and he, and it, like I said, it's very, very hard to kill and it can stay on items, especially if it's covered in feces for a long time. So that's how also things like IBDs spread through feces. So you just got to be careful. So let me see if I can do this. Come here, corkscrew. All right, so I'm trying to do this one-handed real quick. So things like this, I get. This is heavy. This is okay. I'll use this as long as it's safe and everything because we can kind of flatten it out. And they can go under. They can bask on it. But now something like this, let's see, hold on a second, is, oh, hold on one second. Here, one take, you want to take corkscrew? All right, got corkscrew. All right, I'll take them. All right, so something like Hi. this. Okay, one side. Okay, so we get this, and this is something from an aquarium setup. Now, this looks awesome. It's nice. It's cool. It's pretty, but as we can see, there is holes, which would be awesome for very slender snakes. So we gotta be smart about it, but then you have it up here. So like this guy here, bring him up here real quick. So even though corkscrews oh, has a nice tiny little head, right? But we got a big old body, like a normal ball python. So he could start fitting through here and be perfectly fine till you get to up here. Now we have an issue because this is definitely smaller. And again, because this is an aquarium piece. It looks great, but this can cause the animals to get stuck and wet through. And I've seen times where um, in the animal hospital, we've had to lube them on up, kind of get them nice, wet and slippery, slip on right through that hole, or either breaking it, which can cause the next issue. Let's see, I think. This one was, which is, hold And this one have an evil tiny hole. Yes. So the next issue is ones that are broken like this become very sharp. So they break and people still, because you're talking about some of these things are, can be pretty expensive. So you, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of money like to spend on, um, Decor. So you break something to $60, you want to try saving it. Well, guess what? Sometimes things can't be saved because now you have even more sharp spots for them to climb on and around and to get stuck. So we got to be very, very careful about things like that. And then the other things is you get pieces where it's, I think it's like this one where it looks like it's a normal, cool piece of rock, but there's a hole, and guess what? If the animal goes in, it's hard to get them back out. And you try putting your fingers in there, trying to reach out 
it doesn't work. You're not going to reach them. You're going to have to break it, shatter it to get it out. So you got to be very careful of fish decor because trying to get them out, they'll wedge themselves. You can get stuck because it's sharp. They can get, um, you can get cut because it's sharp. They can get some, stuck and get cut. So it's some not. Some of these can only have be fitting through tiny snakes. Like baby hog in those days. Yeah, so these are not, yeah, you got to just be very, very careful. The other issue, like they break. See, these pieces are really, really sharp. The other issue, I got to say, is... Beast, the only issue is they can bite you without you knowing. <laughs> well, we're not going to put our hand where we don't know where it is. So something like this, like, I love like the little wood hides and everything, but you got to be careful and find out where you get them because some of them still have feces on them. They're porous, so what does that mean? It takes a lot of time to actually clean them out to make sure that it is going to be safe to use. So, cause this can harbor, yeah, don't mind, I've been working and doing decorations so much in my hand. So these can harbor a lot of bacteria and um, just things we don't want to uh, have around. Now, this is something that I've, Actually, a lot of these are ones that came. They've been um, already cleaned before I brought them in. I'm not going to use most of these unless I'm using something for anchoring for the fish tanks. So, but yeah, so I just wanted to kind of go over when you're getting decor and everything. It's awesome, but you got to be careful. Watch what you're spending your money on um, because in the end, something like this can actually be life-threatening. Um... And yes. you're going to be... Oh. It's electrically hard to get out of. So he likes to use something like this, where it's just a nice little... Something you use to hide and everything. They can't really... Unless they're a baby, baby, go in. They're heavy enough, so it's... And it's a little more smoother. So this is one of our bigger snakes that they like to play with. So here you go. You can take that back. Thank you. So I just wanted to kind of run through that and just kind of after I was looking at some of these cracked ones figured uh, and talking to other people that I didn't realize that this can be a safety hazard because it does look really cool in a fish tank. Like this. But yeah, yeah, that's our guinea pig's little hut. But yeah, so yeah, just be aware. Make sure when you get the accord that you clean. I like to do clean free time just to make sure everything's nice and safe. Um, if it's cracked, unless you're able to um, cut things apart, making sure that it is safe for them to use. But a lot of these times, once these are cracked, unless you're grinding and sanding, um, it's just not worth it. It really isn't. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching us and say bye to good blue please all right guys say bye have a nice night please subscribe and like if you can thank you all right guys good night